uh, this model uh, this is wind power generation right the wind power generation rating is around 3000 watts okay and then here we need to maintain the voltage around 400 volt and then input voltage here the detail that means we need to design the boost converter because so the wind turbine is connected to the pmmg the pmmg is going to be converted into acb dc by using this diode rectifier and then this rectifier output will be boosted to 400 volt by means of this boost converter so we need to design this value of l and c so in order to design l and c value so here we are using this formula so the rating of the wind turbine model the wind generation model 3000 the input voltage at the rectifier is around 250 volt and then here we are consider 5 kilohertz yeah 5 kilohertz for the pendulum generator and then output voltage we are considered as 400 so this is the equation used to for uh, calculating l and c okay so this is i out max at the converter voltage which is converter output end uh, otherwise called dc percent uh, these are the uh, percentage of the ripple inductor current and the ripple capacitor voltage so this is the formula for l and c so this is a standard formula for uh, calculating l and c for this converter so while executing this one so we will see the results right so this is the lnc value for the, uh, this boost converter okay and here we are using 2000 watts tv panel okay so here the voltage is around the input voltage is around uh, 250 or 245 point something okay and then uh, the output end we need uh, 400 volt okay so based upon this power rating and uh, the output voltage uh, we need to design this L and C value. Okay, so this is also now boost converter here we are using. So for design we are using this this equation that means based upon solar PV power input voltage of the solar that means PV terminal voltage and then switching frequency and then output voltage requirements. So here we are designing the value of uh, L and C. Okay, so so this is the value of L and C for the PV boost converter okay this one and here we, re, we are using load right so load here we are using 3000 watts load okay and here we are using battery so battery rating is uh, 12 volt by 20 12 volt battery we are connected here so 20 12 volt battery means the battery thermal voltage is around 240 volt and the output will be 400 we are fixing so this bi-directional converter will be act as a boost converter concept only but the current direction will be very according with the power power and the wind and the uh, pv and then uh, load okay so here we are going to design the bi-directional converter lnc based upon this value okay so we are taking the power of the pv and then input voltage is nothing but 20 to 12 the output voltage is 400 and switching frequency is 10 kilohertz. The remaining equations are same for boost converter. So just I'm going to under this one. So this is L and C value for that. Term. So by rational converter. Okay. So this is the designing here. Uh, uh, we are using POMBPT for uh, controlling this boost converter inside boost converter so for that we are going to measure the, the rectifier voltage and the current okay so we have to measure the rectifier voltage and current when we process via p into mbpt so here we need to fix uh, the different parameters so initial duty cycle and maximum duty cycle and uh, minimum duty cycle and then change of duty cycle okay and then here we are going to fix uh, v volt p volt t volt so that is to indicate the previous instant voltage power and the duty cycle so initially you have to provide some value for uh, the previous instant values v volt p volt and d volt so v volt e, e equal to 0 p volt equal to 0 and the d volt is going to be taken as the initial duty cycle and then here we are um, calculating uh, power and then here we are calculating change in voltage change in power and then here we are checking the change in power if change in power less than 0 so here we have to check the change in voltage if change in voltage is less than zero you have to decrement the duty cycle or else you have to increment the duty cycle to get the maximum power from the pv panel okay 
and if this change in door is uh, not less than zero again we have to check the change in voltage if change in voltage is less than zero then you have to increment, increment the duty cycle or also uh, decrement the duty cycle okay so based upon this condition you have to calculate the duty cycle after calculating the duty cycle so here you have to check the duty cycle value whether it is in between d max and d minimum if suppose it's not in between d max d minimum just you have to maintain the duty cycle with the previous instant duty cycle okay so after doing this one next you have to overwrite the the current instant value with the previous instant value right so that's why we are doing this calculation d volt equal to d v volt equal to v and p volt equal to p okay so uh, this will be keep on executing uh, to extract the maximum power from the p okay so next this boost converter right this boost converter can be controlled by means of a nc algorithm so here we are measuring the pv voltage and current right so based upon pv voltage current you have to generate a duty cycle okay so here this is the equation for that uh, that mean uh, uh, algorithm for that uh, incremental conductance in dpt so here also we need to fix the the different value that mean initial uh, duty cycle maximum duty cycle minimum duty cycle and then small change in duty cycle and here we have to fix the initial value that mean uh, we have to fix the previous instant uh, parameter v volt v volt d volt i volt and then you have to fix the Value for a previous system device initially v volt equal to zero, p volt equal to zero, i volt equal to zero, and d volt equal to d initial. Okay, and then here you need to calculate power change in voltage, change in power, change in current. Okay, so first you have to check here that we need to check dv that means change in voltage which is equal to zero or not. If it is equal to zero, then you have to check the change in current whether it is equal to zero or not. If both are zero, then you have to maintain the duty cycle with the previous instant and to decide okay if suppose this da is not equal to zero then you have to check da is greater than zero or not if da is greater than zero we have to decrement the duty cycle or else you have to increment the duty cycle to extract the maximum power from the pv panel so if suppose the dv is not equal to zero okay then you have to check this condition dab dv which is equal to minus ib if this condition true then we have to maintain uh, duty cycle which is previous instant duty cycle that means uh, the already PV panel is operated to maximum power point. Okay. If suppose this condition the DAVDV is greater than minus IVB, then we have to decrement the duty cycle or increment the duty cycle in order to make the PV panel uh, voltage uh, or power. Uh, and then when you have to uh, change the uh, PV panel voltage in order to get the maximum power from the PV panel. So after doing this one, you have to check the the value of a duty cycle between whether it is between and d max and d minimum if it is within d max d minimum, d minimum no problem so you have to use that duty cycle from that uh, incremental conductance vpt otherwise you have to equate that uh, duty cycle which is equal to old duty cycle okay so here you have to replace the the previous instant duty cycle voltage power and current with the current instant the duty cycle voltage power and current so it keep on executing so you have to get the maximum power from the PV panel so next thing here we need to uh, control this uh, bidirectional converter so here we are going to apply voltage control method that means the dc bus voltage right so the dc bus voltage going to be maintained at 400 volt so for that we are measuring the dc bus voltage and then it's going to be compared with 400 so it going to be processed a pa controller so the VA control will be generated the duty cycle. So the duty cycle is going to be processed by epidemic generator and it's going to be generated the pulse. Okay, so this pulse is going to be controlled this to IGBT in order to maintain 400 volt across this DC bus. Okay. So the output of this duty cycle process epidemic generator and going to be controlled this IGBT. So output of uh, this uh, INC duty cycle is processed by epidemic generator and it's going to be controlled this. Uh, IGPT in order to get the maximum power from the PV. So this will be controlled the uh, this boost converter to extract the maximum power from the PV. Okay. So now I am simulating the model. So here I change the derivation from 1000 to 500 and then 10 watts per meter square, right? So initially uh, for 1000 watts per meter square, the power is around PV for around um, 2000 watts. Okay. 
for 500 watts per minute the pv power is around 1000 watts for 10 watts per minute the power is around uh, uh, zero right uh, because of that you can see that the battery charging uh, charging discharging will be very so from 0 to 0.56 seconds right battery in charging condition after 0.6 pv power goes to zero so that's why battery comes to the charging mode because there is no power in the pv okay so for that condition so the battery comes to discharging because we are here we are using uh, around 3000 watts right <coughs> power right that is load right and also here you can see that power generation from the uh, so this is power generation of the rectifier right so not rectifier rectifier uh, that means wind generated rectifier power right so it will generate around 2000 right? okay uh, here right during that time right from 0 0.6 to uh, point and second right battery comes to discharging mode right so it will generate only 2700 right so here we are having diesel load around 3000 watts so in order to supply the uh, that remaining power the battery goes to uh, discharging mode okay so here you can see that so initially battery goes to discharging and comes to charging mode and then it again comes to discharging and then comes to charging mode right so this nature going to be very depends upon pv power and uh, wind power so here you can see that uh, this is a pv power wind power battery power load power right so this is a power that means say here the power going to be managed occurred with the uh, according with the uh, pv power and power and load power right and also battery will be goes uh, charging and discharging mode according with the, the variation of the uh, source power like uh, that means source power pv and the wind power right and here you can see that the dc load power is maintained constant and the dc bus voltage maintained around 400 volt so this is dc load current okay so here the power will be managed according with the the power generation in the pv and wind uh, during that time battery comes to uh, play the, uh, the wind battery goes to discharging mode when there is uh, power shortage in the pv and wind so battery will be managed the power to the load that means battery going to supply the power to the load according to the pv generation and the wind generation okay so this is the working of this model thank you